What are you saying, Bishop? Oh, my God, my God, my God. I am telling you, hallelujah, faith that look forward. That airplane has no reverse. All the power of that airplane can do is to look forward. He has no reverse. All he can do is go up, up, up into the sky, but he has no reverse. Are you hearing me? I'm telling you today, you ought to forget those things which are behind you. Press towards the mark to a high calling that is in Christ Jesus. Faith does not look backwards. Faith looks forward. Can you give me a witness? Faith does not worry about what happened yesterday, but faith looks forward. Uh-huh, yeah, like Naomi. Naomi looked forward to going back to Bethlehem. She was bitter, but God blessed her. A uh, uh, time when the apostolic church, yes, I mean all of those different denominations. I preach for the Methodist. I preach for different organizations. And the Lord allowed me at that time when I was in my strength in the best of my health, I did my best to encourage people to believe that heaven is for real. Amen. Faith that looks forward. Well, I, I got to go to Second Peter, the third chapter, verse 8 through 10. If you have your Bible, please join our missionary at this time. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Mm -hmm. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that was then was, being overflowed with water, perished. Mm -hmm. But the heavens and the earth, yes. which, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Amen. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, uh -huh. that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, uh -huh. and a thousand years as one day. Now, now, listen what the scripture says. One day with the Lord is like a thousand years. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something. I am not going to miss that reunion. I promise you, I'm going to be there. Well, Bishop, how can you promise that? Well, I have turned my life over to Christ. And if I obey the scriptures, he promised me eternal life. I repented of my sin. I gave my heart to Christ. And guess what? He is able to keep everything, whether it was wrong or right. He said, I will not let it come up against you in judgment. Amen. Oh, my brother and sister, because you made a mistake or made the wrong turn in the road, let me tell you something. No, 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 don't worry about that. So let me encourage you. Have you ever been driving your automobile and going somewhere, and all of a sudden, you realize I'm on the wrong road. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about that? I'm going the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Well, even our um, highway department has an exit. If you're going the wrong way, they put a little eve on the side and say, you can make a U-turn. All right. Man. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you, 
If you're going the wrong way, just make a new turn. Praise the Lord, and you can go the right way. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. One thing, one thing, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. The a day with the Lord in like a thousand years, in a thousand years as one day. Apostle Peter puts this in me and he penned it in his writing. Mm -hmm. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. Mm -hmm. Oh, my brothers and sisters, there is a, a whole lot of promises in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have not used up all my promises. I've used some of them, but I have not used them all. Because right. there's over 700 some promises in the Bible for God's people. Whether you are Christian or non-Christian, he promised you, amen, certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give me an amen there? Man, Praise man. the Lord. When you was in your mother's womb and your mother put both hands, amen, on each side of her belly and prayed for you, Praise the Lord. He promised you life. He gave you life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Primary 1821. Say death and life is in the power of the tongue. Why don't you speak life over your household? Why don't you speak life over your life? Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, sing with me. I shall live and not die. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, say with me again. Uh-huh. I refuse to let the COVID-19 take me out. I will obey the rules in the orders of our governor. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We are going to Mark 10, 21. Though my time run out on you. Mark 10, 21. Uh-huh. This story, as our missionary prepare. To read it, I'm just going to deal with a part of it. This young man, praise the Lord, came to Jesus in the 10th chapter, in the 21st verse. This is a, a young, rich ruler. Uh, listen to the scripture. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him. And, uh -huh. and said unto him, uh -huh. one thing thou lackest. Uh -huh. Well, didn't he say that? Yes, he did. He said, one thing you lack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. The Lord not trying to run backwards on you and find out how much liquor you drink. He's not trying to find out how much drugs you have been on. He's not trying to find out I mean, how bad you were. Right. He was just saying, praise the Lord, the, run, the young rich ruler, he said, I kept the law. That's the Ten Commandments. Uh -huh. But Christ looked at him and said, one thing you have missed. Uh huh. Yeah, read what the scripture said. One thing thou lackest. Uh huh. Go thy way and sell whatsoever thou hast and give to the poor. Uh huh. Hold right there now for me. He said, Sell what you have. Now, a lot of people, before they got a good understanding of the scripture, uh, they thought uh, it was a disgrace for church folks to have money. Right. Uh, that is a lie from the pits of hell. Right. If you uh, use the exegesis of the scripture, in other words, maybe dissect the scripture, it is telling us a wonderful story. Christ didn't tell the man to go to the bank and get all of his money out. Right. He all said, right. sell what you have. Mm -hmm. In other words, your riches have blinded you of your hope mm -hmm. for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Your riches have put a plan for over your life. You're thinking more about your wealth than you are your community, your people, your friends. So he said, one thing you like it. Why don't you help somebody else? Why don't you uh, reach out to the poor? Why don't you reach out to the hungry? Why don't you reach out to those that are less fortunate? Yes, yes, In other yes. words, he was telling the young rich ruler, if you would allow the people to have some of the coffee out of your saucer, but not out of your cup. All right. Oh, one thing, one thing uh, you're lacking. Well, because of 
his ignorance, uh, do we have some more there? Yes, we do. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. You better hush your mouth. And come take up the cross and they follow said, me. They said, thou shalt what? Have treasure in you heaven. You shall have treasure in heaven. Listen, brothers and sisters, uh, all we have to do is remember to help someone less fortunate than we are. Yes, uh, I, I know people hold up their sign and, and we can pick up an attitude. But it will not hurt your wallet to pass someone a couple of dollars. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, how do I know if they're not lying or telling the truth? Well, that's on them. Do your part. Uh -huh. Lend a helping hand. All right. uh -huh. You know, I open up and I'm no singer. I can't sing. My wife sings. My choir sings. People around me sing. But I don't sing. I make a joyful noise. I am no singer. Okay, but I did try to give you a little tune. Jesus loved me. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Do, do, do you remember that uh -huh, in the opening of the broadcast? Uh huh. Yeah. Jesus loved little children. Uh huh. Jesus loved me. This I know. Uh huh. How did you know it? For the Bible told me so. Uh huh. Not 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 the university. Not some of the great big colleges. Uh -huh. The Bible told me so. Amen. That Jesus loved me. Then he turns around while he was walking on earth. He says, "Suffer, little children, to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven." My brothers and sisters, I know you're grown, but you need a mind of a little child. Amen. Come to Christ Amen. just as you are. Uh, will you come to Jesus? Will you come to him? Yeah, yeah, let me see. Uh, uh, I got to look, go back and talk some more about faith that looked forward. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. He told the young man, the, the rich ruler, uh -huh. you read the rest of the story, uh -huh. he told him to sell out. Well, I'm going to tell you what this young rich ruler. The Bible said he walked away sorrowful. That means he had a selfish attitude. Mm -hmm. He walked away being sorrowful. Mm -hmm. Some people are selfish. Don't be that way, my brothers and sisters. So let us move on by the help and the grace of God. The apostle says, could you, I did not give you this verse, but I believe it's verse 28 of the same chapter. Drop down to verse 28 of the same chapter. Uh -huh. Apostle Peter made the statement. Peter began to say. Then Peter began to say unto him, uh -huh. Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. Christ had to even straighten out the apostles, praise the Lord. Peter began to say, Lord, we left all. Peter was a great fisherman, praise the Lord. And, uh, and all of his, his brethren and, and all of his, his comrades, they were fishermen. Mm -hmm. They had a good business making a living. But Peter said, Lord, we are left all to follow you. Mm -hmm. But listen to what the scripture said, verse 29. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, uh -huh. for my sake and the gospels. Read on verse 30. But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brethren, hang on, let me flip over, uh -huh. and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, uh -huh. and persecution, yes. and in the world to come eternal life. Uh -huh. But many that are first shall be last, uh -huh. and the last first. See, my brother, oh, what a wonderful scripture. What a wonderful promise. Uh -huh. No man have left all, amen, without Christ recognizing and giving you a reward. Faith that don't look backwards. I love this scripture. Faith that don't look backwards. 
Are you with me? Amen. Praise the Lord. Now I'm going to deal with some more of that before I close. I'm going to ask my, my reader to go to the book of Ruth, the fourth chapter in the 15th verse, and we're going to prepare to close. Praise the Lord. Now I have just a, uh, just a little bit of time, I hope, left. Uh -huh. I'm going to share a thought with you, and I'm going to share something with you to help you to look forward and not backwards. The 15th verse of the fourth chapter of Ruth. And he shall be, <coughs> be unto thee a restorer of thy life uh -huh. and a nourisher of thine old age uh -huh. for thy daughter-in-law which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons, yes. hath borne him. Uh -huh. And Naomi took the child and laid it on her bosom uh -huh. and became nurse unto it. And the women of, and the women her neighbors gave it a name saying, uh -huh. there is a son born to Naomi and they yes. called his name Obed. Uh -huh. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. Yes. Now these are the generations of Perez. Perez begat Her Herzon. That's good enough. We're not going to bother him with that generation. Okay. All right, listen. Naomi, Elimely, Malon, Chilon. This is in the first chapter of the Book of Ruth. Mm -hmm. They lived in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. They went to Moab. Uh -huh. Ten years have gone by. She have lost a husband. She have lost two sons. Uh -huh. And Naomi's name means pleasant. She named herself and says, My name shall be called Mara. She nicknamed her own self. She said, I am bitter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Now they are getting ready to leave Moab. She have told her daughter-in-law, Ruth and Oprah, please go back to your own country. Please hear me. I have a word for you. Uh, say that don't look backward. Uh, Naomi remember her roots. Mm -hmm. She said, I have left my homeland. I have left the house of plenty. And she told them the Moabites. She said, I am going home. Yes, my brothers and sisters, uh, this world is not my home. Amen. Uh -huh. I'm just a pilgrim and a stranger traveling through a barren land. All right. Oh, let me get to the story before I close. God spoke. Praise the Lord to Naomi and Ruth, amen, and Oprah. And now listen, let me tell you something. Can I show you a miracle in these few verses of Scripture? Oh, what a miracle that happened here. Maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you overlooked it. And Naomi told her daughter-in-law, she said, I am old. She said, I'm up in age. I can't have any more mm -hmm. children. And even if I did, she said, you wouldn't stick around and wait for it. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. said, I am too old. Please go your way. Mm -hmm. But Ruth says to her mother-in-law, whether thou goest, I'll go. Whether thou livest, I will live. And whether you die, I will die. Uh -huh. In other words, please do not entreat me anymore to leave you. Well, I cannot tell the whole story. Uh -huh. But and starting in the 15th verse, when Naomi instructed Ruth, and Ruth married Boaz, and Boaz begot a son with Ruth and called him Obed. Mm -hmm. Now, when the baby was born, now, I want you to read that verse again. Listen what the scripture says. That's why I'm reading it again. And the women of the city says what? Read. Mm -hmm. Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom. Listen. Naomi laid the child in her bosom. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Go ahead. And became nurse unto it. Now, now, oh my brothers and sisters, now, do you want to uh, lay down your remote and shout with me for just a moment? Do you want to, do you want to raise your hand and give God some praise before I tell you what happened here? Here is a woman where her milk had dried up. She no longer could have children. But here she laid, oh my God, she laid the baby upon her breast. Now listen to the word. This is not something I made up or thought of, but listen to the scripture. The scripture said what after that? And the women, her neighbors, gave it a name, uh -huh. saying, there is a son born to Naomi. There's a son born to Naomi, read. And they called his name Obed. Read. He is the father of Jesse, uh -huh. the father of David. Uh -huh. And then it goes on the generation. All right, hold right there. Now, now, they gave the baby Obed. to Naomi, uh -huh. and guess what? Naomi, all of a sudden, had milk and started nursing Obed. All right. You better get out the house. You better stop. Right. You might want to make a circle around the room at this time because God, amen, is blessing you. Uh, here is a woman in her old age. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And all of a sudden, she's able to nurse. Amen. Oh, come on. You know I'm giving you a shout message. Uh -huh. Yes, as I prepare to close. Hallelujah. Let me put this in your hearing. Many of you have that on a 747 jet airplane. Can, can you agree with me there? Uh-huh, yeah. And an airplane, when they pull in to load up the passengers on the airplane, let me remind you, I have, I was in the military. I have flown from city to city, place to place. Uh-huh, yes. But the airplane, once when it pull in, it has no reverse. All right, all right. Uh -huh. So they have to have a ground crew to push the airplane back out of the depot right. or the airport and turn it around and place it on the runway. Amen. What are you saying, Bishop? Oh, my God, my God, my God. I am telling you, hallelujah, faith that look forward. That airplane has no reverse. All the power of that airplane can do is to look forward. He has no reverse. All he can do is go up, up, up into the sky, but he has no reverse. Are you hearing me? I'm telling you today, you ought to forget those things which are behind you. Press towards the mark to a high calling that is in Christ Jesus. Faith does not look backwards. Faith look forward. Can you give me a witness? Faith does not worry about what happened yesterday. But faith looks forward. Uh -huh. Yeah, like Naomi. Naomi looked forward to going back to Bethlehem. She was bitter, but God blessed her. How did her blessing come? Her blessing come through Ruth. Uh -huh. A young Moabite. Oh, the many people hated Ruth because she was a Moabite. Well, I guess I'm getting long-winded. Help me, Holy Ghost. But I'm telling you, praise the Lord, everybody is not going to love you. Uh -huh. When they got to Jerusalem, everybody didn't love Ruth. But God made her one of the women named in the Bible. And Ruth became a great asset to the Holy Spirit. Well, my brothers and sisters, I hate to say goodbye, and I hate to say I got to go, but I hope I've said something to encourage you. When you start looking forward and quit looking backward, yesterday is gone, 
Amen. It's a canceled check. It's over. Praise the Lord. You can't go back into yesterday. Neither can you go back into your mother's womb. Amen, amen. Oh, you can't go back. So look forward. I look unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? All oh, my help. Oh, can you say amen? Amen, amen, amen? Cometh from the Lord, the creator of the heaven and the earth. Oh, I thank God that has blessed me and allowed me the privilege to bring you this message. The book of Romans, the 10th the chapter, verse 9 and 10, somewhere along there. Praise the Lord. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Believe that and mount up on the wings of an eagle Amen. and you shall run and not be weary and you shall walk and nothing. May God bless you. Have a smile upon you. See you the next time. Amen.